In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text to any type of microscope image and at the same time, how to add a background to the text that you're annotating the image, the image with in image J or Fiji. And lastly, I will show you how to ensure that the annotated text stay in the image because when you're working with text annotation, if you click outside when you're not done, the text will disappear. So I'm going to show you this. And this video is inspired by a comment from a viewer that asked how to add background to text in image J. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new, you're welcome. Please remember to click the subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up if it's what you're looking for. When you have your image open in image J, you can either drag the image to the window bar that will open the image or you go from file and click open that will also open the image and then in order for you to add text to the image there is this alphabet symbol which is for it represents the text tool icon if you click on it you can then place that on the image and then you can type or annotate the image so this particular image we are going to give it its name and write annotate it with the type of cell that it is PPA cells from demo slide so now I've written the text, but if you notice, the text is small, the font size is small. So I'm going to show you how to increase the font size and how to change the type of font. By clicking, by double clicking on the alphabet symbol, all you just have to do is click twice on that symbol. This window will open up and you can decide on the type of font you want to work with. And also you can decide on the size. So by clicking on, by increasing the size, let's assume we want to work with a size of 30. Then we have the font size and this BKGD, it means background. All you have to do is to choose the color that you want your background to be. So if you want it to be black, just click on that and then you can close. When you close this, this is going to stay on the image. But if I click outside of this image, that text will disappear. But because I've not finished about the font color, I'm going to first change the font color before I then show you how to make sure that that text remain in the image. So if I click here, there is this color like paint icon here, the painter icon. If you click on it, a color spectrum or window will open up and then you can choose the color you want your text to be. So if you want this to be white, if you click on it, it will be white. If you click on it as yellow, it's going to be yellow. So depending on the color you want for your text, that's going to appear here by, from the painter. It doesn't, I don't know why, it doesn't work when you choose the color from here. So it always automatically just go to red if you are working with a red, green, blue image. So that is why you need to click here on this painter to choose the color you want the text to be. And now that we have the text, we have the background, the next thing we want to do to ensure that this text stay on the image, because if I click on this image, can you see that that background disappeared from this image? So that is why I want to show you how to make sure this text stay on the microscope image. So what I'm going to do next is to go to image, go to overlay, and first let me ensure I'm, on, I'm working with this image. To go to image, click on overlay, and click on the flatten. This will generate a new image and this new image now has the, our annotated text with the background on it. And this particular one I was working with earlier, if I click anywhere in the image, you can see that that text has disappeared. And that is how simple it is to add, to annotate any type of microscope image with text with background. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and thank you for watching. Goodbye.